Hey guys, Admin here with a review and up video for you. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a holiday doll, even though it is January 2023. Um, but she was on sale, obviously. So I had to go ahead and get her. It is Rainbow High Holiday Edition Roxy Grand Doll. Where is it? Where? Oh, okay. Roxy Grand is retailed for $59.99, but I was able to get her on sale for $39.99. And the price point alone, just for her, like an individual doll, is a bit much very much actually she is a holiday doll so she is you know for december and i understand the price point because of the holiday part we all have seen other dolls from monster high barbie um i think lol surprise used to do holiday dolls i don't think they came out with one this year correct me if i'm wrong i don't think cleopatra counts does she i don't know this is the first from rainbow high that they've done in terms of December. We have seen from the Chinese New Year, from Lily Chang, and from Dia de los Metros. Um, met, I mispronounced them, apologies. <laughs> apologies. So Roxy Grand, um, immediately I didn't get her when she was, you know, originally released, just because of the price point. $60 basically for an individual doll in a doll stand. Uh, I'm not sure if she comes with a cone. I don't see one here, maybe behind the packaging. Um, but just this alone, I'm, um, hmm. uh, I'm just very confused. I, I would understand as she came with other stuff. Um, I understand though, obviously of holiday and the box, the packaging here alone, it's giving, okay. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The back of the, Im back of the box, the image here of her, of all these diamonds. Like, can we just give it up for this whole staging? You can unbox her very carefully and obviously reuse this. I actually would like to. I don't think I have space to keep it. Um, but I, I, it's just, it looks gorgeous. She does have a handle at the top here. And she does have a message that reads, Roxy Grand is decking the halls with fabulous fashion. Like this crystal encrusted gown she designed herself. We did meet her on season three during Rainbow Vision of her. I think she was styling um, the Rainbow Divas. The one thing though I will cr give a critique to, I don't understand this part. I, I, like if you want to keep her in box, I mean, obviously by looking at it, it's beautiful. This part, I feel like dust and stuff will just get in. Like look at my fingers. It's literally, going inside the box like yes there's plastic covering the dress but like other things can get in there what can i put in here like i put my pair of scissors in here just imagine if it was completely sealed i think it would be amazing to put on the doll shelf and packaging and just have her like that forever i do have a couple of holiday dolls from i think it was just from barbie and i think hannah montana dolls as well that i still have in packaging that i like to put around my house uh, for decoration during the holidays um, but this one i wouldn't just because in storage just imagine i don't know what can go in there like a sh like shit can go in there so i i don't want that and i even like putting clear tape and all like I wish MGA would have just sealed this. Like we don't need this. Like it's not even a 360 turn. Why would I need to go from side to side? That doesn't make any sense. What was the point? Let me go ahead and unbox her for a closer look at this doll and literally everything else that she comes with. Okay, 
So that took me about maybe less than 10 minutes to unbox her. Um, getting her out of the box was completely easy. I just snapped the tags, the stick clear tapes that was on the side, pulled the thing out. Now, if you're wondering about this whole setup, there is nothing inside. It is completely hollow. And this, while unboxing, you will have some difficulties in getting her, because she is part of a stand that's set up at the bottom and also on the top. And you can still reuse it. And it's really cute out of the box. Like, come on. Okay, so what she comes with is, you know, we got the standard hair comb and this like kind of like square gray um, glittery type. Then we have the doll herself. Let me get into the doll. Um, she is, yes, gorge in the face. Her hair, I'm very much questioning because I thought it was a ponytail, but there is some like knots around. So I'm not sure if they're trying to like expand the hair to make it look fuller. Like, you know how it's like, like, you know how it's on one side and the other side. It's not all like, in one pony. So that's where I'm a little bit questioning about how it's supposed to be set up. Um, but I'm not hating on it, I just have to work on it. In terms of gel, there's not really much like product in her hair, like it's pretty free. I just combed through it like once or twice and it's not bad. There is some tinsel in the hair. You know Rainbow High love their tinsel. The makeup is Gorge. I love the coloring of like the purples and pinks that they chose, especially with the silver complementing an overall serve. I will say that earrings, big gems kind of reminds me of um, I think her name was Jewel Richie from series four, if I'm not mistaken, but hers were green. Um, a nice statement necklace, the gown itself. Uh, it's no. The Jet Dawson gown. The fabric is something. Um, I'm not sh sure uh, how to really describe it, but it, it, it's something. Do you have a lot of jewels all around the dress? Yes, even in the back of details. Very shiny, very, you know, it reflects off the lighting. Like, it's just sparkles and shines. She does have five bracelets, three on one hand, and two on the other, well, wrist, not hand. Yeah. On the hands though, she does have molded on rings and also kind of like a holographic coloring of nail polish. It's not exactly white, but it's the same coloring of the dress, which I'm not even sure what the dress is, like white-ish. I'm not gonna say holographic, just cause it very much shines off from lighting. The shoes with all the jewels that are molded onto it. Nice little simple heel with jewels. The foot does rotate all around 360 and it is just molded to have a heeled foot. It doesn't like, it can't make it flat. It just turns around 360 for each foot. Same articulation as every other Rainbow High doll with at the neck on the shoulders, elbows, wrists, upper leg, and also on the knee. The doll stand is like this. So this part here at the very top is to hang on to the stand. It's gonna be very hard to tell on camera. But there's a hook in here so that way when you want to turn her inside the packaging it could still stay in place rather than the stand being all loose. Just a simple little hook, put on, attach this, and then just like swirl her around. There is, I'm going to take this out, this is obviously useless. Um, another. Can you not take this out? Oh my God. Okay, so the doll stand, this is really molded on the hook to it, to able to turn the stand. It's molded on so you can't really remove it. You might cut it, 
um, to get it out, but it really is it's molded on there. Um, the waist holder is not like a typical waist holder. Let me just get another doll stand. This is from Shadow High. It's the same exact stand as that are Rainbow High dolls, just obviously studs at the bottom. Compared to this, there is this. So, there, there is a, a holder to hold her at her, to hold her at her part. There's two here to hold her on the legs. You even have parts to put her feet on here. Huh. Like, we don't need this. We don't need this. Because the whole point, let me see. Monique, if you can demonstrate, can you do the same thing as Roxy Grand on her stand? And then Roxy, let's do you again. Just a good little twist. That's it. Literally it. So I'm not understanding about the whole stand. I get it for the box purposes. Um, so that works out if you're gonna keep her in box. Um, but yeah. But even like if you're gonna unbox her and put her on the doll, doll shelf or on any shelf, like, this is completely unnecessary. I'd rather a, a regular, you know, a, this is a basic stand that we always get. Get. I mean, I for sure will know that this is her stand because she's the only one that has this type. The only one. And I honestly do not want another one just because it just looks beyond weird. Rock. Get you. Get the foot out of there. Like, do we really need all this? The Rainbow High stamp, it's even here. Like, we really need all this. And then even this part, I mean, obviously you don't need this since you're gonna take it out of the box. This is too much. That's, this is just too much. That's, the stand alone is too much. I'd rather they put more, uh, all that effort instead of the stand to put more on the doll herself and giving her a second outfit or something. But that is my overall review of Roxy Grand. Um, do I recommend getting her on clearance? Yes. On sale for 40 bucks that I got. I... I wish I would have gotten her for 30. Like that would have been the half off price. I'm assuming that would have been clearance pricing. Um, but I didn't see her as much in other my Target locations and other target locations. So I'm assuming because of the sale that's going on, people are now starting to buy her. And you know, 40 bucks, I do think that's fair. That should have been the retail price to begin with. Um, but for that that I got, I mean, at least I'd be um, able to have her in my collection because I am a Rainbow High Shadow High Stan. So I, I want to collect all the dolls. And I do like her. She's gorgeous, she's pretty. It's just the pricing is just throwing me off. And as well as the stand, it is beyond ridiculous. So I'm going to, uh, how do I even recommend? I, I'm, I'm gonna give this an overall, a, a no. I would just get her on clearance on sale. It, but if you're like me that collects all the dolls, obviously, I mean, hello, it's a yes. Um, but she has one doll that I'm just like, I, I had to get her just to complete. It's not like uh, my top favorites um, doll. Sorry, you are gorgeous though. Um, but this alone just really pissed me off. I don't understand what this is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments about Roxy. Is she a buy for you or a pass? Did you already get her? Did you not? Let me know all of that in the comments.
check out all the other videos that I have on the Celebritons YouTube channel with other rainbow high dolls, shadow high dolls, LOL OMG dolls, Bratz dolls, etc. Follow Celebritons on all social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.